Hey guys, and welcome back to Building Habits. In case you're new here, this is a series where I introduce a set of rules you should try and follow in every game you play. The goal is to teach you strong fundamental principles that we will improve upon as we go. This series is my personal take on how to improve in chess, starting from 400 ELO all the way up to 2000 ELO and beyond. I'm gonna choose a series of rules that I have to follow what you might notice is that you will miss chances to play winning moves. That's okay. The goal here is to focus on the fundamentals and I'm trying to get you guys to build good habits and play high percentage moves that will help you increase your rating. Start things off. I always play five minute games when I'm doing this uh, challenge or show, let's call it. Okay, knight there, not really a move that we are used to seeing at all. Okay, I mean, even just copying that seems reasonable. But if we remember, this is uh, transforming into a Vienna. So we should play bishop here, right? This is our Vienna move. This is our Vienna move. I can throw some music on. Here you go. Uh, Kilox, thanks for the 500 bits. Skaktus, thanks for the nine months again. Just some background music. I don't usually like to have it too loud. Okay. Night here, night here. I feel like we're developing pretty normally here. And remember, let's let's cut the uh, the bishop g5 move. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Well, let's complete the development. A bit loud. I can turn it down. I'm definitely not really a, a shout a shout guy when uh, when I'm playing playing these habits games. I'm usually pretty mellow, so. Uh, let's take that. I don't know if the rook wants to be there. And let's see if we can open the middle of the board. Bring these bishops. Okay. Yeah, rooks uh, should just go in the middle here. And in this particular position, I'm, I'm really, really tempted by this already. E4. Does anyone know why that might be? Why do I want to open the middle of the board? Well, I have two great squares for my rooks. But <clears throat> move like this also, because this king is sitting in the middle. Very tempting. Very tempting. Hey, Casey Ingram. What's up, what's up, man? Okay, queen's attacked. Let's fix that. Let's fix that. Bong Crosby, thanks for the 180 bits. Dunder EU. That's good to hear. Okay, he's getting castle. I don't think it'll be too surprising that we want to bring these uh, rooks right to the middle of the board. Could take this, but if I get to complete development here, I don't think I'm going to complain. <clears throat> Here we go. Both sides do look very habitual. I, I would tend to agree with that. Bishop's getting attacked. I think I'm just going to move it back. This is, <clears throat> this is what we do. Almost every time. Um, knight into d4. I don't know. Piece into the middle of the board. Look for trades. We got our escape square. We got all our pieces pretty well placed. Rook's in the middle. We got our bishop uh, aimed at his king. Our knight just jumped into the center of the board. 
feel like we have good control here. I feel like we have very good control. Okay, takes. Um, I honestly think uh, pretty much any piece is uh, is reasonable here. Um, the rook takes looks the most suspicious because um, it allows him to play rook e1. So queen takes and bishop takes, definitely the top two moves I'm thinking of. I always advocate something like um, something like queen takes d4. Makes a lot of sense. Threatens the, uh, the bishop and goes for a queen trade. So just go something like this. Okay. Bishop d4 hung c7. Yeah, but there's going to be lots of pawns hanging for white there as well. He goes there. Let's see if we can bring our rook to e2. This bishop looks fine. Now that we're approaching an endgame, what do I want to do? I, I sort of want to start bringing my king to the center of the board. Get my rook down there, make some threats. <clears throat> I think uh, pretty decent, pretty decent uh, move here would be rook c4, but um, as always, rook on the second rank is black. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go against that. I'm not gonna go against that. So let's start to bring our king in. Let's avoid trapping our bishop. Don't mind if I do. This bishop looks very strong in this diagonal, so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, bishop there. The thing about that move is I'm not exactly sure um, what it what it does. Like it defends this pawn, but the pawn was already defended, and now the rook is trapped. He goes c4. Um, so keep bringing our king to the middle. So he's going to lock out our bishop. Very important thing to do here. Not only to free our bishop, but I've talked about how when you have the same color bishops, you want to put your pawns in the opposite color of those bishops. So now his bishop can't attack my pawns, and my bishop's not obstructed by my pawns. Meanwhile, his pawns on the same color, he's going to run into them. They're going to block him, plus I can attack them later, later on in the endgame. So let's bring the bishop back to civilization. <clears throat> Bod beats thanks for the 100 bits. He goes rook e1. Let's continue to activate my king. Let's see if he wants to to trade and he does. Rook is getting attacked. I think we need to move this thing. I want to go king there. This bishop could uh, move to the center of the board. Don't mind if I do. Let's continue to put pawns on light squares. Good habit. And I've always talked about using using the king as a, an aggressive piece. So let's go, let's go. He wants to take this pawn. Looks like a very good move. Let's... Trade the bishops is going to make it easier to pre-move. Rooks belong behind pass pawns. And let's see what we can do here. Block the check. And we will try. He should probably keep his rook. Nice move. Good job. He he had a nice flagging, uh, nice flagging technique there. I thought, um, but again, this is uh, this is pretty much a model model game for not even level four. What's the level four habits? Not even level four. I think even level two. Um, none of these moves are too tricky. The only thing that really becomes apparent in uh, the the fourth levels or third, fourth level, more advanced, is putting the pawns on the opposite color of these bishops. That's that's kind of important. But other than that, I mean, 
Rook attacky pawns, bringing the king into the middle of the board, using your king as an attacker. All those are actually uh, basic, basic, basic things that we talked about a long time ago. So not too much different there. Not too much different there. But I like the game. Um, these pawns are just permanently stuck there. Not like my opponent played poorly at all, really. He, it was a pretty equal game. I think he was slightly worse the whole time. But uh, nothing crazy. He was never lost or anything like that. Pretty much 90s all around. Like I said, it was just like a... It was a game of a lot of trades. And... You know, it's hard to say that any of these moves were really, really bad or anything. Like, this one was, was bad. I mentioned Rook C4. But um, other than those moves, I think most of these are going to be pretty pretty strong moves. You know, overall, I think it was a pretty accurate game. And then obviously this was time pressure. What to do better in this game for us? Well, w this is important, right, to, to challenge the center here. If your opponent's going to be making moves like this away from the middle of the board, you got to blast open the center. Queen takes d5. That, that has to be, you know, a requirement. Anytime your opponent lets you take the center of the board, definitely, definitely should. We'll go rook e8, queen d7, rook d8, just like level one habits. Nothing special there. Yeah, whenever I see um, g6, again, I don't really have a specific system. I've just always recommended, hey, <laughs> take the center, bring your, your knights out, you know. Go for the usual go for the usual we got a castle we want to play h3 rook to e1 these are some normal habits type moves stopping bishop to g4 and again whenever we see stuff like this what do i always say i say don't close the position so no d5 you can take that opens things a little bit or you can leave it there and wait for black to um, take on d4 himself. Both of those options, taking or letting him take us, that's going to open the position. But d5 is going to close the position. Those are a lot different. Why not close the position? Because you guys don't know how to play closed positions. Way too complicated. Keep it open. There's going to be tactics. Tactics are, are what you can study very easily when you're starting out in chess. Get positions with lots of tactics in them. Let's go rook e1 and rook d1. That's how you're going to improve the fastest. Get open positions. Force yourself to learn tactics. Everybody improves the quickest by playing open positions, tactical positions. Do you like closed positions? Well, learn open ones first. If you like closed ones, then you learn open ones. Once you get good at open ones, then you'll be good at every kind of position. But if you like closed positions, you only study closed positions, you're going to get killed by tactics. You're just going to get destroyed. Bring the rooks to those two center squares. Close position is, is a lot more uh, maneuvering, for sure. A lot of maneuvering. Okay, f5. Well, one thing is that, you know, when your opponent starts to attack you over here, you want to react with, uh, let's take this, you want to react with opening things up. Opening things up. If the position was closed here, then his attack would be even stronger. Okay, let's keep opening the position. Trades are fine. Bishop takes here. Well, let's keep up the theme. Trade, trade, trade. Is Omid making a reappearance? I am told that the answer is yes. However, I am also told that Omid has been drinking since 1 p.m. So, so we'll see. Queen f6. Uh, let's go for the trade.
And let's take a free piece. I mean, that wasn't too difficult. My opponent tried to go for some sort of attack over here, and all I did was open the position, trade pieces, and then there was just a hanging piece waiting for me. All right. Anyone, uh, can anyone help me out? What do we do next? What do we do next? Once you're at material, there's one thing you should always do in chess. No, not take pawns, not take pawns. Remember, you're already up a piece. Taking pawns like this is how guys get mated, you know, all of a sudden it ends up like a queen here and some checkmate. It's not worth it. Just got to trade the hell out of the position. Knight d5, for example. Forks the queen and the knight. Basically forces him to trade. And after the trade, your position is just going to be a lot easier. Just simplify it down. Simplify, simplify at all times. You see, what did I say? He's going to threaten that mate, but we don't care. We're, we're here to trade pieces. We are here to trade pieces. Okay, and in this position, we've pretty much traded everything. Obviously, this is an option. Obviously, offering queen trade is an option. I think we have some um, pretty aggressive options here um, due to the fact that his king is actually currently stuck. Great first move to start with, seems to me, to be rook e7, taking the 7th rank and threatening maiden 1. That's always good. That's always good. He's going to go defend that. And how are we going to keep increasing the pressure? How are we going to keep increasing the pressure? Queen d4 check. Yes, his king is stuck, remember. It's just a single check could be enough to win this game. He's going to defend. Queen f6. Is that a queen trade? Yes, it is. I'm not even going to think twice. And look what I can do. I can put my other rook down on the 7th rank, and this is game over. Once you get this, guys, you don't have to worry about anything in life. You don't have to worry about anything in life. Now we can start collecting. Now we can start collecting. Take that guy. Take that guy. Yeah, just... One by one by one, those rooks pick up every single pawn in the position. And his king is <laughs> fairly, fairly sad over there. But there's a reason why I don't take this pawn here. It's probably an okay move. You know, you can play this. And after queen here, you have, you know, queen takes pawn here. It's playable. But you just have to deal with a checkmate threat, which can be a little obnoxious. So as you get better and better, you'll be able to realize when you should maybe take more material and when you should just trade. But when you're starting out, when you're lower rated, I think you should always trade. Because there are chances that this causes you to get mated or worse. Um, like lose a bunch of things. Pawns. Maybe you blunder your queen. Who knows? It, it's just not worth it. By trading, by trading, you just eliminate all all chances that uh, that bad things are going to happen around your king. Tide thought taxi. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Fresh as ever. Silly pants with the one hundred bits. Most instructive chess I've seen lately. Appreciate that, buddy. Tiore, yes, humiliate. Make sure let's let's remember that. Peter T. Jeff, thirty one. With the 31 months. It's 31. 31 months. Perfect. What a time to reset, Peter T. Appreciate that. They are uploaded on YouTube. You can go exclamation mark YouTube. Check out our YouTube channel. Again, am I going to push? No, that's a closed position. Going to open things up. Going to take. Important. But yes, they're uploaded on YouTube. You can also do exclamation mark habits bods. And find them on our Twitch as well. Okay, let's get a rook into the middle. The open uh, open file there. Let's develop the rest of our pieces. Okay. Stay attacking that pawn. Okay. He's going to push his pawns, but that could get a little weak there. Cram Cram, thanks for the prime as well. Fresh as ever. 
Appreciate it, Cram Cram. Okay, what about other Rook? Hey, another open file. Can't complain. Can't complain. Jason Cassidy with five gifted subs. Thank you, Mr. Cassidy. Okay, Queen D2. We're getting all our pieces developed. That's the thing, Airbus Driver. Um, because this is the last uh, episode of Habits, let's do our H3. I am going to be showing... I am going to be showing you guys some things, not in the games. I'm just going to go to analysis board and show you because I want to make sure we review certain things like the uh, checkmates, checkmating patterns, and just a few rook end games that I think are pretty important. Um, okay, what are we going to do here? I feel like we want to improve this bishop. Bishop on e2 is not, it's not doing that much. Um, so, I think we're just going to go here. What is the last one? As I said uh, earlier, you guys should be reviewing the ones that we've already done. So, there still should be lots of lots of hours that you that you can sink into uh, into habits. Okay, knight here. Queen simply has to move. Always tempting to go in um, to go in the center. Hey, Dill. You just did that. Huh? Did you just please that? What's that? Oh, someone else must have done it. The, the stream labs. Oh, no. It just reset. Probably when you opened it or something. Just clicked in. Oh, that's okay. Must yeah. have clicked in. Yeah, that's what it is. I, I did it at the beginning and I was like kind of waiting. <laughs> waiting for it to happen. So probably you doing that. Like, By opening it. Activated it. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 6 p.m. <laughs> the first thing you say to one another is always good morning, no matter what. Yeah. Yep. Well, I didn't see this hours ago. <laughs> it was still quiet time. <clears throat> You're good? No coffee? I am, yeah. I've got, a, got a, my array of uh, bevies. First time catching this live instead of on YouTube. Well, welcome, uh, Wells Durgo. Hello, Lewis. Okay, we have a pass pawn here. I'm going to do that thing that we do with them, which is push them. Is the knight trapped? I couldn't care less. I have a pass pawn. I have a pass pawn, guys. Oh, you see? Some of you guys would go rook a1, try to take the knight. Me, I'm a... I'm a habits bro, I just wait for him to blunder it. The knight comes to me. I don't go to the knight. Okay, whenever players play these knight moves, I always just move the uh, you know, the opposite safe pawn and the always gotta get a pawn in the middle of the board. That's that's the thing. My opponent offered me a draw. Good etiquette? Not sure. Is he planning to flag me? Wait, that's actually very smart. You begin the game, you offer a draw, and then you can you can flag the hell out of your opponent for the rest of the game. Because you've already offered the draw. It's actually very intelligent. So that's what you do. Every time you play Hikaru, you offer him a draw at the beginning of the game. He's not going to accept it because he's higher rated, because he's Hikaru. And then you can just flag, flag the hell out of him one game. Oh, that's that's not bad actually. It's pretty pretty smart. <laughs> oh, believe me, that won't happen very often. When I say flag Hikaru, I'm talking about the one game out of twenty where it's <laughs> one game out of a hundred where it's possible. But hey, trust me, you offer a draw at the beginning of every game. Oh, you'll be ready for it. You'll be ready for it. Let's go for our setup of, of this. Okay, castle. Oh, okay. So he's taken, which means that the setup changes just a little bit here. Now I can actually develop over on this side of the board. Knight here. He's offering trades, don't mind if I do. 
Okay, this bishop can always improve one square further. Rook definitely belongs in that e file. It's the open file for me. Queen, h6, of course. Let's just go ahead and uh, do h6 here. And how about a knight in the middle of the board? Knight in the middle of the board. Not going c5 because of a strong bishop. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a strong bishop now, but I would call it a strong bishop after c5. Definitely, yes. But the main thing is after c5, not only do I activate his bishop, but you see my pawn on d5, it's going to be all alone. This pawn and this pawn are going to disappear, so this guy's going to be all alone. It's going to be easy for white to attack. It's not going to have any, any friendos nearby. Not going to have any friends nearby. And everything feels bad when you don't have friends. Okay, let's bring every single piece to the e-file. <laughs> every single piece, let's go. <laughs> okay, he wants to take there. Pawn takes is a great move, but we are going to play like this. We are going to play for the end game. That's one thing that we are practicing in... Uh, level 4 habits. Kick him out. Let's kick him out. And now, important uh, s and not to do bishop here first because then the white knight would be able to jump to e5 after f5. So you play f5 first. And then he's got two rooks defending that pawn. I've got two rooks attacking it. Now bishop b4 will kick him off the e-pawn. And then that's my e-pawn. That's for me. That's for me. Yeah, bishop f4, bishop g3. All those moves are playable, but nothing is as, as damning. The evidence is not as damning as bishop b4, which simply forces the rook away, and then I win the pawn. Let's give a check. Okay. Now I'm... Now I'm wondering what... Let me just bring the... Bring the king to the middle. Seems, uh, seems reasonable. What was the point of that check? I was attacked, and I could move my rook somewhere that was safe, and it was check, which means it's my turn after, so it seemed worth to me. It seemed worth. How do I use this thing? <laughs> How do I use this thing? Right? Here, there's nothing. Here, there's nothing. E6 is the square. Maybe F4 in there. That's an idea, at least. Okay. Let's take. And actually, it ended up paying off, I think, because my, uh, my F4 square. Look at that F4 square. Okay, I have a feeling that he's... I have a feeling he should be getting himself into trouble here, but I'm not sure if I see exactly how. He might almost be getting mated here. Uh, probably important not to just take this. Taking here is probably the cleanest move. And knight d3, also a very good move. Knight d3, knight takes b2. But why is this going to be the cleanest move? Because we get to take here. And here. And you guys might be saying, Dude, I think you miscalculated. Your knight's trapped. And I'd say, no. My opponent didn't even play king c2. So it's not trapped. <laughs> okay, now we get some pre-moves in, right? Pre-moves, pre-moves. Take all his pawns. There we go. We got all his pawns. Now the position is easy to pre-move. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Hopefully this is not stalemate. Four. One. Two. Three. <laughs> you know what's beautiful? I have a great checkmate. I'm so excited. This is an amazing checkmate. King here, king here. Let's check. He has to go here. <laughs> then I go check. And he has to go here. Then I go check. And he has to go here. And I go checkmate. It's beautiful. I just needed like four more milliseconds. Like I said, there are worse things than checkmate. Trust me. This, <laughs> this was about to be pure humiliation. <laughs> this was a pretty good game, I thought. I mean, pretty normal game. We just like tripled all our pieces, traded everything. We won a pawn. That was the only tactic that we had. And then from there, he blundered a piece. And yeah, it was okay. But this, this was probably the, the moment. This is like a level four moment. Right here. It's like, what, what do you do in this position? Right? You are you got a solid pawn chain. You're up one pawn. But your rook is kind of like stuck back here. And your bishop also can't move because your rook's going to be lost. And, I mean, your king can move up here, but then what? So I thought this was uh, sort of an advanced moment here where you have to look at your knight and say, look, I've only got two pieces playing the game right now. My knight needs to do something. It needs to involve itself in the game. And this move and this move, that they don't have a single uh, square they can go to. So you shouldn't just move the knight there just because it's, you know, like a better square. You gotta actually think about where your knight is gonna go. So instead of these moves, and obviously you can't go here or here, we move the knight backwards in order to find an actual square that has some purpose and, and an actual future. Ah, so people who play a3 against this opening, just, they can't deal. They literally cannot deal with bishop b4. They can't deal with the nimzo. This is called the Indian game, East Indian Defense. <laughs> I wonder how they came up with the East Indian Defense. No, this is just a, this is just a guy who's just a pussy. Like, he's just scared of, of this opening. Yeah, that, that pawn is pretty far east on the chest. We call it the East Indian, the really far East Indian defense. It's really, really east. Okay, we played this exact same setup last time. Uh, last game, rather. Oh, this is uh, convenient. Very, uh, very interesting setup by my amigo here. Whenever you see this, it's usually a good idea to go something like this and try to take, try to take. Okay, let's see what happens here. Remember, after you take this, some people just take this and totally forget the rook's hanging. You have to deal with the rook first. <laughs> Gotta deal with the rook first. Okay. Let's take that. And what the heck's going on here? Did this even work out for me? Did this work out for me? Let's play this uh, boring night move. Okay, E3. Let's go here. H3. I like the way he's playing. I like the way he's playing. Now, my queen doesn't have literally anywhere to go, so I'm going here as a means to you know, actually bring my, my queen up and bring my rook over. Need to do something. And what are we going to do after bishop d3? Big move. Big move. We need knight b4. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're on the same page here, Adam Hartlover. 
You always, you always gotta go for this. Let's just see if they fall for it. That's good. That's good. We're on the same page, guys. We're on the same page. How about now? How about now? One of the most annoying things you can ever do to a chess player, ever, is to try to find a way that they won't be able to castle. So I would always consider bishop b5 here, at the, at the cost of anything. If he can't castle, he's just gonna, he's just gonna be pissed off. He's just not gonna have a good time. He's just gonna be tilted. Is it worth losing a pawn? Oh, it might be worth losing a piece, buddy. If you can make your opponent mad, that's worth thousands of pieces. Hundreds of men could be sacrificed to tilt your opponent. Is it worth a pawn? Absolutely. Not even a not even a discussion. Bishop takes here, just queen b7. I it, trust me. It, right now he's not having a good time, and that's all we need to know. Knight d3, check. Now, you guys tell me. You guys tell me. Is he castling this game? The answer must be no. Must be no. Bishop take. Do you think I care about this pawn, dude? He's not castling. He's so tilted right now. So tilted. Let's invade with our queen. My goodness. Knight to d2. I'm telling you. He's really asking for it. He's really asking for it. It's actually crazy. Okay, we're going to have to secure the position. So we're gonna start with a check, just to bring his knight back, and then we're gonna do, we're gonna do knight e4. And what's gonna occur is the bishop is gonna be anchored in on d3, which means he's definitely never castling. I'm not exactly improving my position, but I am ensuring that he will not castle. Ensuring. Am I gonna take his queen? No, 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 no. Because if we trade queens, then it's like, oh, I had to take back. I couldn't castle. We want to we wanna leave him in a position where he, he wishes, he wishes his king was on g1. I mean, this is just brutal. Poor guy. He's definitely, he's definitely mad. And if your opponent is mad, you can already say that you've, you pretty much won the war. Okay. Rook, not doing anything in this game. Let's make it do something. Do you guys want to see something? Look. How tilted would you be? It just doesn't look fun. It just doesn't look fun. All right, let's get back to this side. Now hang on there. Queen B2. Hang on a sec. Remember, remember, after we do something like this and give him a check, he's going to be forced to go back. Does he want to go back? No. Hell no, he doesn't. Hell no, he doesn't. But he has to. This is just that poor guy. We're going to put him back in his coffin. Poor lad. That rook can't even play the game right now. It can't. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you mind going back oh he's going here he's not even going back this dude's annoying man like if i check you're going back right just checking okay so now i go here i'm just curious are you, are you coming back uh bishop d2 he wants to flag me okay guys i'm getting flagged i'm getting flagged i didn't see the draw offer so you know what we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to go into uh super saiyan mode didn't see the draw offer. This seems like bad etiquette to me. Seems like very bad etiquette. Uh, poor guy. He's still trying to castle, by the way. He's still trying to castle. I think probably every move he's at least considered dropping the king here and just seeing if it works. You know what I mean? Like, hey, one of these days chess.com is just going to bug. You know what I mean? 
one of these days it's just going to bug. Uh, bring the king in, so to speak. Oh, man. Look at this guy. He admitted it. He finally admitted it, guys. He finally admitted it. He will not be castling in this game. Absolutely not. He gave up, yes. I'd like to think so. <laughs> I'd like to think he gave up. <laughs> what a strange game. What a strange game. Are we going to get him? I don't think so. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Close, but no cigar. But it's a very enjoyable game. The thing is, when you lose reading doing stuff like this, the time that you that you spent with your opponent, that's the thing to cherish. Positions like this, I mean, just... It's just so, so pleasant in chat. I don't think... There honestly is nothing more satisfying than somehow you both start with the exact same amount of pieces, and you reach a position where he actually can't move. Something very satisfying about that. You start with the exact same amount of pieces, <laughs> and somehow the way that you move them means that he cannot move any of them anymore. <laughs> something, something that feels really good about that. Really putting him in the dirt. However, at the end of the day, the elo's not going up, and this guy's coming away with the win, so credit to him. Let's see, uh, let's see just, just exactly what happened there. Yeah, 64.8. We ain't playing good moves out here. We're playing sadistic moves. We're playing sadistic moves. Okay. Yep, bishop b5. An inaccuracy. An inaccuracy. Knight d3, a mistake. Nope. <laughs> Looks like he hit us with the blunder. Yep, a mistake. A, d a blunder. But what did this move do? It secured the bag. It secured the bag. Now, there's no casting for the rest of the game. So what some people might say is a double question mark move, I might be calling the brilliancy. The bishop is stopping the king permanently from castling. I promise you, not only will you frustrate your opponents, but you'll have a lot of success. Anytime you can pre prevent your opponent from castling, do so. Oh, it's such a great feeling. And you'll just notice that you can, like, for example, I'm down a pawn here, but he's got the type of position that even though I'm down a full pawn, it's connected, it's passed, minus 0 0.75, you can see black's better here, even though that's the case. I don't know. I feel like if you're playing chess and you're truly, truly enjoying yourself, nobody can complain about that. Look at VTG. I think he's enjoying himself, you see? You see what happens to guys who have a good time? For fun players? Holy smokes, VTG. You see, he's having a good time. 50 subs to the cause. The 17k push is in effect. Full force here. Oh my goodness, VTG. And what do we do here? We keep the tension. We do not close the position. We either take or keep the tension. That's insane. That is insane. 
thanks so much, VTG. Getting us closer to that, uh, that important, important number. 17,000. We're going to shoot for that. Uh, we're going to shoot for that tonight for sure. But VTG, making sure that we are well on our way to that goal. Thanks so much, man. Let's uh, make sure to defend this pawn. The other rook will go in the middle. You know, something like this. Holy cow. <laughs> Hello, Hurricane Matt. There's an account I haven't seen in a hot minute. Hurricane Matt. How the hell have you been? H3, you know it. You know it. You know it. Yeah, VTG is not his first 50 sub bomb. Absolutely not. In fact, let me scroll up. What was that? Yeah, I mean, look at that. VTG, 360 plus subs in the channel. Holy smokes. Remember, guys, if you are not following the channel, the likelihood of you getting a gifted sub goes down. It does prioritize followers. So if you want to get a random gifted sub to a channel like this, following helps. Following helps. So we're going to make sure to full send it uh, in response to VTG, uh, VTG's dono. We have to bring the pieces over to the, uh, the king here. And I'm trying to, I'm actually really trying to bait the guy into taking this. That's, that's all I'm doing. I'm just a bait bra. F5. Okay. He's he's not he's not falling for the bait. He's not falling for the bait. Now, this bishop would be nice to keep, but as soon as I see F5, I'm noticing this backwards pawn here and the fact that my knight can jump into E5. Okay, so the knight's here. It can't be touched by the bishop, any pawns, nothing. Nothing. Okay? So, this pawn is the target, probably for later. Probably for later. Okay? It'd be nice to get on an open file, that's for sure. I can't really do that at the moment. Um, something like this, targeting this pawn, though, looks reasonable. The knight is, yeah, basically the best, best piece on the board. Best piece on the board. VTG. Cheers again, man. That's crazy, crazy support. Let's get the open file. So now that he's committed his, his bishop to that, am I going to take that bishop and win a pawn? Hell no. I'm not interested in that at any point in this game. Even if it was possible to do this move, I would never do it. Okay? Never, never, never. This pawn is loose. Unfortunately, it looks like a, a pawn I'm going to have to caretake a little bit for. You know, rook here. The other option is rook c4, but I'm really not that interested in losing this guy. Really not that interested in losing this guy. Yeah, no, I know the queen's hanging. The point is that even if the queen wasn't hanging, I would never, like, give the knight for the bishop just to win a pawn. It's that valuable that I wouldn't do that. It's that valuable that I wouldn't do that. So let's defend this for the moment. And in general, it's good practice to sort of have your piece on dark squares. So, like, a3... Probably a solid move. King h2 even. Getting off the back rank. All these moves make some sense. And he goes for a trade. Let's take it. And I will play a3 just to complete the, <laughs> the dark square everything. It's one of the worst bishops you've ever seen. It's not the best. Do you guys see this? You guys seeing this move? Who does this guy think he is? He thinks he's so cool. And rook c4. <laughs> Look at me. Can't take me. Can't take me. He's trying to bait. He's trying to bait me. But I'm the master baiter. Wait. Anyway. Let's go here. Uh, I'm not a fan of this uh, pin here, so I'm going to try to deal with that and support the knight. Okay, so he's starting to reroute this guy. Now, we've been talking about getting the open file. 
Let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Take that. And what would I love to have here, guys? I would love to have an end game. If I could get an end game this night against this bishop, oh, gotta defend this pawn. And you know what? It's not that easy. Let's. I gotta defend two pawns here. It's a bit annoying. Um, what's the way we want to do this? Let's go here, and we're gonna set up a deep bait here. A deep bait. Knight g6, guys. Knight g6. Yes. 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 A deep bait. See, brought 200 IQ. That's why they call me the masturbator. That's why they speak about me in whispers. Take that. Okay, we guard that. And now I just move the rook out of the way and push that pawn. And you see how the knight and the rook keep the king away. So the king can never touch the rook, which means I can basically pre-move this all the way. He didn't give me the rook mate. GG, Tiago. So I just simply have to start a game, even if I flagged, I, I just have to start a game. Oh no, do you guys remember this guy? No, this guy's very good. Do you guys remember, this guy put me in the dirt. Sparkle97, I recognize this name. No, 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 this is, uh, this is trouble. This is tr How am I supposed to play chess? How am I supposed to play chess with this type of support in the chat? With this type of energy? What am I supposed to do? This is a chess channel, goddammit. We play chess here. 100 gifted subs from Airbus Driver. Let's get an Eric KO for Airbus Driver. Let's get him on KO for VTG. Those two guys right there deserve some KOs, I would say. Those two guys right there deserve some goddamn KOs, I would say. They are not stopping. VTG978 will not be outdone. 50 gifted subs. He's matching the support as well. They are going toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. Jumpy Dev's in here with five on top of that. Akram said, Akram 93, four months. Jeez, I don't even, am I even playing this game? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I, I mean, I, I could put 17K sub push in the title, but by the time I type it, we might be past it. Jumpy Dev, 15 subs. Just a sec. Just a sec. <laughs> Guys, you know that Twitch is full of scams when we have, what was that, like 400 gifted subs in 20 minutes and you're telling me that's not a goddamn hype train? 
Where is the hype train? How is this not a hype train? That's a scam. That's a scam. That's an actual scam. The chess bra hype train is set higher than that. Yeah, it has to be at 500 subs. I don't even... <laughs> okay, one sec, one sec. I, VTG needs a theme song. Because Airbus Driver has a theme song. So let's play Airbus Driver's song right now. But VTG needs a song as well. We, we are we're popping off right now. In a good way. Loving the support from the crowd. The energy is good right now. Let's bring the Rook over. We need a VTG song. Holy cow. I mean, these guys just went, what, 200, 200 apiece? We had Foamy Homie with the five subs. Down Synth Drum with the four months. This guy's playing well, as always. Sparkle. He's just giving me that work every single time. Jumpy Dev with five subs. Dance Up, 286 with 10 subs. You guys are not forgotten. Jumpy Dev, 15 subs. A lot of people sneaking in there. Jumpy Dev has really snuck in with about 50 subs in total. He's doing 5, 10, 15 at a time. But Jumpy Dev, I see you, buddy. I see you. Jay Hunger getting in there with a gifted sub as well. But VTG, 50. Airbus Driver, 100. There's not going to be people left on Twitch to gift to. We're literally, yeah, exactly, walking to We're actually 93 away from 17K. We got guys in chat saying, somebody gift me a sub. Dude, you already have a sub. You just didn't even know it. You're typing with a sub badge right now. How are you going to be in this chat right now and say, give me a sub? If you're in this chat and you don't have a sub, that's your fault. You've done something wrong. You have done something wrong. It's impossible. <laughs> That's a pawn. I take it. Check. Someone say Hikaru got a sub? <laughs> Hika GM Hikaru got a sub. So we went through everybody on Twitch and the GM Hikaru was left? We went through the entire website. Tactic. Is this a tactic? Does anyone know? I'll only do it if it gets approval. Is that a tactic? Yes or no? S. Machakos is uh, inputting his answer first. He says no. Mizzo says no. Everyone else says yes. Majority rules. You guys are wrong. <laughs> oh, I hate this democracy stuff. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Ah, because what happens after knight takes, there is king takes bishop. Doesn't work. Queen takes. Oops. <laughs> Queen d6, there's rook f4. Well, thanks a uh, whole heck of a lot for that one, guys. Appreciate that, eh? Yeah. Yeah, appreciate that. That was great. Yeah, thank you. You're up a whole rock, though. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to make of that. I feel like I just got trolled. Oh my god, we got guys gifting at the same time. They're like overlapping. What's going on? It's like a sub quilt. 
They're overlapping. We are so close to 17,000. I have 10 seconds and I'm down a piece and Sparkle97 has taken so much rating from me. This guy farms me. Airbus driver, I gotta catch up here. What the hell is going on? Jumpy Dev with five subs. Airbus driver, 58 subs. 58, a very specific number. Hitachi, tier three for three months. What do we, uh, what do we do? Dare. Poor Thor with a gifted sub. Buck81 with five subs. The rating's going down and the subs are going up. Let's lose another game. Let's go. Let's lose another game. I am trading ELO for subs. We are 17K official. It's engraved in stone. VTG and Airbus driver are making sure we fly away right now. VTG. An Airbus driver. We're at 17,000 subs. That's right. You. You in the chat. You're part of it. Congrats to all 17,000 of you. Best sub benefits on Twitch. I'll say it again. Buck81. Thanks for the five subs. Be a checkmate. Gifted a sub to GM Hikaru for 22 months. That is 22 months of gifted subs to Hikaru. That's a, that's a long time. Uh, this is an interesting sacrifice. Let's take it. Let's take it. You got a sub? There you go, Connor. Connor plays jazz. Enjoy it, buddy. Enjoy it. Casey Ingram. We we did it, man. You've been a big part of that as well, Casey. Sniping, making sure. PJ Green gifted a sub as well. DMB Berg with a four-month sub train. T Stringer gifting a sub. Uh, depressed Deeds with the five subs. Oh my goodness. It is a fun, it's not even in sub only, guys. You already, you, you know that's the case. It is not even in sub only. The previous song was Come Fly Away. It's the same one as this, except that it's the other remix. So Come Fly Away, that was the song we just listened to. That's the Airbus Driver Anthem. We need a VTG one, though. We really do. We really do. Here we go. The energy is too high right now for regular habits music. You know what I mean? It's too high right now. I need to I need to just put a song like this on to to represent the energy right now. Am I afraid of you? No. No. 17,000 subs. You guys are like the it's like I have a pet tiger or something. To most people that's a scary thought, but since we grew up together, I know how to I know how to keep you guys in check. And you guys would never hurt me, right? It's like a pet, a pet tiger, pet lion, you know? A lot of people are scared to have one, but I think you guys are actually, uh, you know, rather affectionate. Okay, what do we do here? Develop? Polish songs are played in this stream. Yes. Yes, that is correct. Thank you. Eric is online. One with a fresh prime sub. His Scott with five subs from earlier. Jumpy Dev with five subs from earlier. Finn Laymore with five subs. Jay Hunger with the sub. I'm just catching up. I haven't even called everyone's name out, but thank you. You know who you are. You've been a part of this sub push. Thank you guys. Every single one of you. Every single one of you. Maverick, 688. Five subs from him. I do know that Hortex, but only because someone told me one of the last times I played it. Anonymous gifted a sub. Jumpy Dev in here for I don't know how many more. Oh my goodness. Jumpy Dev, what are you at today, man? Feels like 100 from Jumpy Dev. It's the 18... I need to change the title. You guys are right. It's the 18K push. Jeez. 18K... Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Sorry about that. Celestial Slice. 
Thank you for the five subs. Dr. Jaybird MD gifting a sub as well. Oh. Never let you go. Never let you go. You have a sub too? I'm sure you do. Everyone's got a sub in here. Let's move this knight out of the way. Bring the rooks to the middle. We're over 17k. It's an 18k push this evening. Sorry guys, I, I wanted a 17k push this evening. It's an 18k push. Adreed, two months, Airbus driver. I can't even keep count of this guy today. Airbus driver, so many subs. VTG, so many subs. Let's not forget, VTG started the whole thing off. He started the whole thing off with his 50 bomb. We had no more names with a $500 dono. Where's the scam train? Exactly. Where the hell is the scam train? Deprestige and PJ Green. Thanks for the subs. Rock and Jason with the bits. Buck 81 again. Porthar. Just catching up here, guys. Baby Liger gifted a sub to Magnus' channel. Maskinison. There we go. We got GM Hikaru sub. We got uh, Magnus' channel subbed as well. Remkovberg. Thank you and welcome. Brand new sub. Getting subbed on his own. He wants to be a part of this. The sub push. Hello, Bozo. Jessica. Queenie four. Let's double on the open file. Oh my goodness. Jumpy Dev. He's not stopping. 25. Hello? Scam train? Mod check? Scam train? Well, what does Twitch need? It's like 650 subs in, in like 30 minutes. Okay, does anyone know the requirements? Does anyone know the requirements? <laughs> Maybe that is the scam train. I think, guys, I think we might have actually activated the final level of the scam train. Where there's so much hype, they don't give you a train. I think we actually activated the final level. No one's ever been here. This is Valhalla. That is the final level of Twitch scam trains. So much hype, they don't even give you the train. An actual, actual scam. For, for a long time, people have searched. They've, they've waited. They've been hopeful for an actual scam from Twitch. And we have reached the final level. We have made it. We have finally gotten scammed, for real, this time. <laughs> We're definitely out of theory, that's for sure. We have ascended. We have ascended. Uh, I'm just attacking his queen here. Guys. Whatever just happened was absolutely wild. We're playing some Polar songs. I think they're pretty hype for moments like this. We got a lot, a lot of hype in the chat right now. That was a great song, Vortex. Jumpy Dev, thanks to the 25 subs there. Bebe Liger, gifted a sub to Magnus. It all went by in a flash. It's a great, great description. Polska Gurum. Same Vexi. It, nothing can compare. Okay. We take that. We take that. Okay, that's a check. We got to block that. Take that, block that. 
sub only chat, except it's not in sub only. I promise it's not. So he is threatening. Rook takes h5. Th guys, this is what happens. This is how I get on the liquor in the middle of the afternoon or something with energy like this. <laughs> Might have to host the community sip or something. Jeez. I am the liquor, yes. I am the liquor. If we run an ad now, what happens? Let me try, Fabrizio. Let me run an ad. I'm hardly homeless? Excuse me? I'm hardly homeless. Guys, please. These subs are for a big cause here. You're telling me I'm hardly homeless? Look at this guy. He needs help. He needs help. I need prime subs for the bus. Fully homeless. I think this confirms it. He kind of looks sad. Exactly. Exactly. Let's, uh... Play our variation here. Yeah, it's not a bad beard if I do say so myself, eh, Mads? Ain't too bad, ain't too bad. Jumpy Dev, 50 subs. I can take the bus home. Thank you, Jumpy. That was a full scam. Because if I'm taking the bus home, that means I have a home. Scam completed. Yep, actual scan. Let's go, Jumpy Dad. 50 gifted subs. That's enough bus fare for the month. Rook on the open file. TW 200 bits. Fabricio gifted a sub. Thank you so much, Jumpy Dev. I'm, I'm even going to check. Jumpy Dev is at a crazy amount right now. Oh, I can't. It's, it's too much. It already scrolled off the chat. God damn it. Wanted to check how many gifted subs Jumpy Dev was at because it is probably an insane number. Jumpy Dev has been supporting for too long. You hereby vow to gift no subs until May. Okay, Jumpy Dev. Well, let me tell you something. You may gift a sub in April. Does that count? I know it's not May, but you may gift a sub in April. Can we can we come to some agreement there? Let's bring the night out. I'm never gonna know how many subs you're at, Jumpy Dev. This is a troll. Now it's like a guessing game. It's like the jelly bean game. It's like a jar. You have to guess how many are in there. How many gifted subs? Is Jumpy Dev at? And you find out in May. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go here. Bring the Rook over. Jumpy Dev. Appreciate the support, man. You've been, uh, you've been going crazy today. Same with Airbus, BTG. And honestly, there's been so many other people gifting subs that it's just been hard to... Hard to process exactly how many when the number is this big. Every little bit. Five subs here, ten subs there. That's all crazy support. So I appreciate it from everybody. Uh, let's bring the rook over. Bishop c5 check. Yeah, but I, I do get kicked with d4. So it's not, not the best tempo. Let's go h6. Ghost, thanks for the prime sub. D4. Ah, so if I played there, it wouldn't have been too good. He would have gone here anyway. But he is threatening C5. I have to be careful of that. Volume? Yeah, you, you guys don't need to hear me. That's true. Let's go, Jumpy. 
Jumpy's real jumpy right now. This song again? It auto-played. I don't know how, but <laughs> it auto-played. I'm not complaining. And M Siri. Thanks for the prime sub. Now, what are we doing here? Okay, let me make a move so I can think. What is my next move gonna be? I can't go here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here. This is a bit low T. Ah! Thankfully, thankfully, he made it easy for me. I could consider taking that or that, but also queen here makes a lot of sense. You're a mobile viewer, so you're cool. Ah, I, I find no flaw in your logic. Gonzo chess with a gifted sub to our mobile viewer. Gonzo just, he couldn't let a cool viewer like that. Jumpy Dev gifted a hundred. Goddamn. He baited us all. He baited us all. A hundred subs on top of that! What the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? Jumpy Dev. Yeah, actually, F it. Hundred on top of that. Oh my goodness. Jumpy. This is insane. This is the fastest road to 18k we've ever seen in our damn lives. That's correct, Gonzo. If there's remaining plebs, just, just, just leave the website. I don't know how it's possible to still be a pleb in this channel. It makes no sense. 17.2 is where we're at right now. Jumpy Dev, I hope not. I hope not. Yep, Fabrizio, we're getting there, buddy. Oh, we got, does anyone, does anyone, uh, remember guys, this is actually pleb therapy. So the first step is admitting it. The first step is admitting it. So you can feel free to speak up and admit, admit that you are a pleb. That's step one. This is an accepting environment here. We accept subs in this environment. Actually done till May. I hope you're serious this time, Jumpy, because I don't know if I can handle uh, that much hype. But thank you so much, Jumpy Dev. My God. Actually done till May. Hope that's the case. Hope that's the case, man. <laughs> you deserve some time off. You deserve some time off. Let's get this queen in here for trade ski. Let's go in there for a trade ski. Trade. We want more trades. Bishop here. We got a few moves we can make. A couple loose pawns. Don't mind if I do. Let's guard that. Remember, walk that king in. Let's take that. It's going to make things easier to pre-move. It's not necessarily the best move. It should be easier to pre-move. Here and here. Easy to pre-move. And what do you do? You make sure your pawns are safe. Make sure the pawns are safe. Make sure the pawns are safe. And hopefully we can win this, guys. 
all on light squares, pawns advance on dark squares, that's all you need to do. Dark square pawns, light square bishop. You see how it's unstoppable? The bishop controls the squares that the pawns don't, and the pawns control the squares that the bishop don't. That's how you do it, boys. The pawn controls the square that the bishop don't. And get a queen. Stay on light squares. Stay on light squares. We've got this. We've got this. Oh. He went the wrong way. How many checkmate patterns are there? I'm going to show you them. I'm going to show you them. He was supposed to go down, obviously, so it'd be easier to checkmate him. Beppi, well played, from Indonesia. Let's see if we can hit 1900, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys some important things you need to remember. Let's hit 1900 for the energy, and then, and then we're going to do a little bit of learning. I know, I know, I know, learning, but important stuff, important stuff. I know, I know. I said I said the L word. I said the L word. Knight C3, can't complain about this. Airbus driver, are you going to be back? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. See you in the early morning. That's what I like to hear. See you in the early morning. You started off the energy along with VTG, Airbus driver, and uh, and you'll be back to uh, pick pick up uh, pick up the energy where you left off. Good night, Airbus. We'll see you though. We'll be going late tonight, so we'll see you back in here, hundred percent. We'll see you back here. Um, let's take and go, Bishop here. Okay, do we care about this pawn? No. Jumpy Dev, there's a few people that uh, got that just now. Guys who, uh, guys who brought the energy. That you've been supporting for a while, buddy. Jumpy Dev and VTG, the latest inductees. Here? He might want to play b4. He might want to play b4. Right? I'm, I'm really trying to sack this pawn, but I actually need to do it in a good way. I need to do it in a good way. I'm waiting for him to do this. Let's go here. See what he does. This would be a very funny, funny move. I have a feeling that I can keep... Okay, so I'm going to play a very slow move here. Because I'm seriously convinced he's going to play this or this. Okay, let's play h3. h4, man. He's really, he's not interested in taking e4. <laughs> okay. I'm really waiting for him. I'm really waiting for him. Now I'm threatening, okay, he takes it. He has to take it. He has to take it. There we go. Bowden's Bishop, thanks for the gifted sub. Yeah, I appreciate everything today. Jumpy Dev. We got Airbus. Don't forget VTG started off the whole damn thing. Ooh. Bishop D6 would have been an interesting move. This this one is not so interesting. <laughs> this one is not so interesting. Probably should give a check. Although, hang on a sec. Here, 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 here. There's not really a KO there. 
Not really a KO there. So let's start with the check. Let's start with that check. Jumpy Dev. Honestly, there there will be. Seriously. You asked, but there there will be. <laughs> I can do this and trade queens. You guys are 100% correct. It's obviously very tempting to look for a checkmate here. Well, there you go, Gonzo. Remember, getting banned is a term of uh, a sign of affection here. Bishop g5, f6. I don't know if I really see the next move. You know? Wish there was a, a nicer continuation here. You know, like this. But I'm gonna I'm gonna follow some good habits and trade queens while I'm ahead. Kilimanjaro. Chess bras is my favorite habit. And I can tell that it is, because you know what? Kilimanjaro is resubbing, and guess how long he's resubbing for? 69 months. 69 months. Nice. Nice. That's a special one. That's a special one. Only happens once. The big 6-9. 69 is max level. Yeah, something like that. I've I've heard, you know, people people talk about that, yeah. Bishop, uh, Rook here, please. Thank you. You just gotta ask nicely. Just gotta ask nicely. Hey, if you ask for something, you have a better chance of getting it than if you didn't. That's all I'm gonna say. You're improving your chances. You are improving your chances. Check. Hmm. Ask and ye shall receive. Absolutely. Okay, let's play this song. This song's really good. Oof. Any dancers? Any dancers in chat? Number one piece of advice, always block your bishop from contributing to any potential stalemates when you're like, for example, pushing a pawn or anything like that to make a queen. You never wanna have that bishop, so just block it means that you won't ever have a stalemate. Ladder technique, there we go. <laughs> Doni Tsunami, that's right. Rui Lopez, here we go. Hey Basmania, great to see ya. Interesting move, queen to F6. Follow the habits. Thanks for the 10 subs though, Donnie Tsunami. Do appreciate those a lot. Interesting. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out what I got into here. Is this theory? Let me take the center. Best song yet, six month resub, McQuick22. There you go, Jumpy Dev. I think it's uh I think it's well received. Let's take that. We want to open up the middle of the board here. And what 
is next? Hmm. Maybe like bishop here? I mean, that's a tempo. May as well take that. Queen d6. Fair enough. Fair enough. He wants to trade the, the lasses, the ladies. Now, uh, let's see. How are we going to prosecute the advantage here? Knight d5. A decent move. Don't know if it's great. I think this move is the ultimate bait. Ultimate bait. Yeah. Now, we still have some options here. We still have some options here. Not only is this an option, and this, but I think we can concoct something uh, beautiful here. I think we can concoct something beautiful. This does require some attention to detail, though. Knight e5, king c7. What's next, though? What's next? I think bishop here. Must be bishop here. We want to threaten some important stuff. Some important stuff. Yes. Very important. Something like knight c4 here. Check. That's a discovered check. Hopefully it pays dividends for us here. G6 also. I have I have bigger plans than knight g6. And he actually played a very good move here. I'm a fan of his move. Queen d6. It doesn't look like it's a great move hanging the whole queen. But I, I think it's very strong. I think it's very strong. If I take with a bishop, he goes king here. And... He's going to take my bishop if I take his knight. If I take with a knight, at least he can react to this check. So I think he actually uh, played a good move there. I'm going to take. And if I go rook here, I'm intending another discovered check. He gave me my knight back? Oh, he, he, he definitely did. But I have bigger aspirations than just taking a knight back. Trade went ahead. Exactly. That's why we're trading here. I'm giving him this knight, and then I'm going to move this bishop and win his piece, and that'll be like a trade. It'll be like a trade. So he got my knight, and now I'm going to get his knight. So we're, we're trading down because we're ahead material. Why not knight b6? Because a lot of times you go knight b6, you lose the bishop, the knight takes, and then you find a way to lose the knight in there. All of a sudden you're down two pieces. Not so good anymore. Not so good anymore. Now, back to this position. Again, we're going to do more trades here. Um, I think trades are going to be how we eventually win this game. So we're going to start by trading this pawn for this bishop. It's going to liquidate things down. Um, it's going to help a lot. Yep. And then we're going to play rook here. We're going to make sure to double pin. Double pin. Um, let's go for... So I traded uh, rook d8 for rook g8. We traded these moves here. So keeping up the, the theme... 
just trade trade me your head. So let's continue. We gotta keep trading pieces. Um, so let's maybe bring the uh, bring the rook to d1. Weird music. Welcome, welcome. Bishop there. Great. Let's take and maintain our pin. Yep, keeping up the theme of trading. So trade that rook. Yep, knight here. And now we're just going to execute the, the, the most important move of them all. We're going to put our rook on his h8 square. So now we're completely disguised as one of his own. He won't recognize me. He thinks that's his rook. We've successfully infiltrated enemy lines. He can no longer tell the difference. And the fact that I'm about to take this guy is really going to surprise the hell out of him. It's really going to surprise him. It's like, wait, whoa, whoa what? what? The hell just happened? We got, we snuck behind enemy lines and uh, now we're able to take that. Not too bad, I would say. Oh, let's uh, let's keep pushing. Let's keep going. Now we need some pre-moves, don't we? Now we need some pre-moves. Which one is he going to take? I had a feeling it was going to be that one. Make sure everything's defended there. I don't think he's going to take that bishop. Try to trade some pawns. Let's uh, pre-move a check, because we don't know what move he's going to do here. So we want to make sure we do this, right? He's a tricky guy. He's not going to take that. Uh, I'm very in tune with this guy. Very in tune with this guy. He's a tricky player. Make sure to save that draw, don't we? There we go. Jeez. We gotta work hard against him. Okay. Let me go to... Let me go here. Uh, D4. D4. We've seen this before, haven't we? This is an important move, d5. We talked about this in the habit series, so hopefully not too surprising. Already gone. True, Jumpy, true. Very good, though, as you know. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost feeling a little spicy here. A little frisky. As we keep, we keep it chill with bishop d7. Is techno back? Techno's always back. Techno never left. Any chance uh, you get a French soon? You mean the French defense? Uh, no, n no chance. Definitely no chance. Our knight is going to return to the e6 square. But actually, if he plays this, I can uh, just go back to e4. Let's get castled. Rooks always belong on open files, so like rook here is a, a very, very sensible move. Um, let's go for a trade. This channel made you appreciate techno. Well, there's a nice compliment. Let's go f6. We want to open up our queen. Rook on the open file. Rook to e8. Just uh, throw the rook there.
I'm on, my rating is 1700 and I sit here for two years. What should I do? Stand up. Two years is a long time. Rev Prof Patrick. Thank you, Rev Prof. Five subs on top of that. Rev Prof Patrick, thanks again, man. Five gifted subs is super kind. Grizz Hog, almost two years. Shots time for the boys. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I might have to start a little earlier, but uh, we still got some habits to do. Still got some habits to do. Let's go into this uh, opposite bishop position and see how how bad it is. Take knight and win a pawn. Well, remember there's, there's this pawn. You know, there's a few things loose here. It's not that clear, but um, I agree with you, Victor. Yo, Druid, what's up, my man? <laughs> Thanks for all the compliments during Arena Kings. Hey, I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have been able to come up. I'm not a very nice guy, you know, so I wouldn't have said nice things about you if, uh, if I didn't think they were true. Seems like you got a good stream, man. Don't know if you're gonna keep streaming or anything like that, but uh, you definitely seem to have a uh, a knack for it. And you did really well in the uh, in the event. A hype train is close. Guys, a hype train is close. 600 subs later and a hype train is close. Jeez. Look how close we are to a hype train, guys. It's amazing. <laughs> a hype train is close. Chot on with five gifted subs. Uh, train? Mod check? The hype train is started. There we go. <laughs> Fix it with two gifted subs. There we go. <laughs> Let's plant this bishop in the middle of the board there. There we go. That was Eric, temp. Yeah, yeah, we're, we we got the full scam going on right now. Yeah, I don't know how many subs we need for level two, but... <laughs> Chot on, good to see you, buddy. Juby Jubes, he's resub in two months. I think he's using Prime as well. Yes, he has Jay Noom, seven months. Hope I'm having a good evening. I am. I am. And I can't even properly describe it, but the, uh, the, the evening has, has truly been hyped tonight. Truly been hyped tonight. We make our own scam. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Sure. Let's go here. Attack some pawns, you know. Uh, Isaac, I'm glad you're thinking about that. And it's a really good question. So his question was, hey, should I try to put all my pawns on light squares? Because he's got dark square bishop. Now, if the, if the bishops were on the same color, so if this bishop was a dark squared bishop, like if it was sitting like right here and the pawn was there, then I would agree with you. Remember, when the bishops are the same colors, you want your pawns on the opposite color of them. But when you have opposite colored bishops, 
then it's kind of like, it doesn't really matter because if you put all your pawns on light squares, his bishop is going to be quite strong and your bishop can only defend them. So sometimes when you're trying to play for a win and they're opposite bishops, then you actually want your pawns, like if this pawn could be here and this pawn could be here, they'd be way better against this bishop because it would block it, you know? So when, you're, when you have opposite color bishops, pawns on the same color is, is often the way to go. Not really threatening anything, just just threatening to threaten, <laughs> I guess. Just threatening to threaten. I did watch a little bit of Magnus' stream today, yes. I like the fact that I can... Um, that I can take this. Now let's just hope we don't get mated. I I can't do anything about that, but I gotta go pawn grabbing. I gotta go hunting. Uh-huh. You see what he's up to here. This guy's annoying. This guy's annoying. Offer to trade. He's declining. That makes sense. Hmm. Lime Mile, thanks for the three months. Tier 2. I remember playing this guy in stream before. Good player, good player. But we don't really have a chance. The thing about opposite bishops is when you're uh, when you're low on time, you're basically slated to lose the game because there's no way you can ever trade them. Probably gonna need two. I think yeah, probably gonna need two wins here. Facts, okay, Casey, you remember, you remember. Goodbye scam train. Exactly, the train. <laughs> we had it. We didn't have it earlier when we needed it, and now it's here, and everyone's. Everyone's depleted. Everyone's depleted. A lot of E5s, exactly. A lot of E5s at this ELO. Okay. Let's just get castled. See a MC. Okay. Do we go here? No, I think we keep our keep our d4 plans. And remember, this knight goes here. Hi. Hi. You want anything? Um. <laughs> might refill this. Water is always safe. Yes. No one's back yet, so I'm just gonna grab it. Who's that? Oh, you mean no one who left. Okay. <laughs> An Airbus is better than a train. Fact. Find that hard to disagree with. Let's go D4. Open things, uh, open things up. D3 looks a little bit low energy to me. I, I can't really tell if the move that I played is, is a good one or not, but D3 just seemed low energy, you know? His king is still in the middle. He's, like, not able to castle just yet. So I felt that this was justified. So I'm looking at bishop g5 as a way to pin and stay mobilized here. Also threatening the bishop indirectly. I'm also looking at, you know, takes and d5, but he does have b5. Um, bishop c2. That's the other, that's the other move that I think we can do. Thank you. You're um, That's the other move I think we can do. So like rook takes, this would be a tactic, I think. You know, you want to go d5, win the knight, then you get two pieces for the rook. But 
They have b5, hitting our bishop. And then I think we one up them and we go bishop c2 and hit the knight there. So even though there is b5, bishop c2 hits the knight and then there's two knights hanging. Looks reasonable. Looks reasonable. Even taking here is like probably a good move, but let's give it let's give a tactic a go and see how it works out. This was the intention. This was the intention. Okay, and knight takes there. If I was him, I would have taken that pawn because he's just going to help my knight develop here. I don't think he needed to do that. <laughs> Knight c5. Well, knight c5 hits the bishop, but it's not hanging because my queen's protecting it. So, Chess on YouTube is the only reason I ever downloaded and checked Twitch out. You mean entirely, Cartman? That's exciting. That's exciting. Okay, let's just develop, I guess. <laughs> Continue developing. And yeah, let's just uh, develop the queen and <laughs> wait for Buddy to, <laughs> to castle. Big Daddy Mel, that's you as well. Yeah, that was Cartman in the chat. Trungle Man with the three months. Thank you, thank you. G6, okay. So he's stopping that. Thanks, uh, Bunny Ribbon. Okay, we got a league bra in here. Let's respect, go. respect. Battle Bunny Ribbon. Now. Green tea and whiskey. Green tea and whiskey, eh? Is that a series? Like what? Does that have a name? No, it's just what Vietnamese people drink. Okay. You mix, you mix Hennessy. With like store bought Japanese green tea to mellow it down. It's very good. Hennessy and green tea. Yeah. It's very good. Well, you could try it sometime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pocky put you on that one. Okay, okay. Like Chest him. Put you on it too. Okay, Jumpy Dev says I gotta try it. So now, now there's starting to become a consensus here. So we've stopped him from castling this way, and now we've stopped him from castling this way. So at this point, this guy's just tilted. He's so unhappy. Hmm. Here you can go there. Knight e4 is uh, okay. I think he's going to play the knight there after that. I think that's the intention. But you guys already know what we're going to do. If we go bishop here, there's simply knight there. So instead, I'm going to put our knight here. And definitely, definitely after he puts the knight there, we're going to attack the rook. We're going to attack the rook. Now, I mean, buddy over here, he's going to be a little annoyed. But what we're going to do is we're going to go knight f6 check, and now he can't castle either way. Oh, man, he's upset. Oh, no. He is so mad right now. Oh. He is the most upset player you've ever seen. Look at this guy. He's just... He, he can do nothing. Buddy. Bu buddy. Buddy. You know? We go here. Now we we I think we do want to open things up. The only thing is it sort of lets him out. So let's go here. See if he goes c5. I, I expect as much. I expect as much. Let's bring that knight to e4, h7. You know, knight e4 looks pretty strong. Uh huh. He's full madge right now. Well, I don't know if he's gonna be that mad. He's he's looking to flag, right? He's looking to flag. Okay. We gotta move this queen. 
Let's uh, let's go here. Maybe even uh, g4. One thing about h6, if he plays it, is that once I go back, now I'm threatening to go g4 and take it, which might be very frustrating. Oh, interesting. So he goes here. Maybe let's play a let's play a an, an interesting move, an enterprising move. Yes, buddy, I was actually going over here. He didn't know that. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you stop people from, from castling, like, it's just so tilting for them. It's so tilting. But it's not, I mean, guys, bishop f6, this is so crippling to the position to end up here. You just moved your rooks, you can't castle this way, and you can't castle this way, and you can't touch the bishop. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Guys, one more game, right? One more game. Hopefully we don't uh, choke it out. Oh, it's going to be the Scandi. It's going to be the Scandi, eh? Okay. He wants to do some gambit, eh? Oh, Buddy's really, really out here. Look at this gambit. Okay. 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 Hello, Shelly. Now, when we're up this many pawns in the opening, then you usually have a, a pretty established game plan. And I think your game plan should consist of trading. <laughs> that should be the only thing in your game plan. Trading. Castling into the attack? Yeah, we ain't scared. We ain't scared. King there, not castling. You know what? I don't think that was a mouse slip. I don't think that's a mouse slip. I think that's intentional. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, H5. Looking to absolutely send it. Okay. I respect you. I respect you. Now, why is this such a great move? Because you're going to go bishop g3 and you're going to trade off that bishop. And once you trade that bishop, he's got nothing. So that's the threat right now. It's not going to be happening for sure, but that's the intention. Okay. g5. Uh, <laughs> uh. This is, this is a guy who's really full sending it right now. <sighs> All right. All right. Fine. No, 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 no. He's... This is a crime. Look at what he's doing to the pawns in this game. He's truly full sending. He, he, he really is. H3 habits. Yep. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Bishop h4. He's giving all the pawns. Now, this move is fine. You do have to calculate queen h2 check here.
You think we should be learning habits from this other guy? Hey, and I don't, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. I can't say that he's got good habits the whole game, but he's got good habits at the end. <laughs> HF Daphos with the tier one sub, and we do get an Imzo. Yay. Yay. Was there any way out of that? Yeah, probably not taking the Rook. And I think you can still survive, but something like that is is too pretty not to not to allow, you know what I mean? No review of the game? No, because we're short on time today. I'm just trying to push 1900, and then if we can hit that, we have to do some review. We have to go over some things. Game over. That's right, Bozo. What's the ELO goal for Hambits? Oh, Hambits. That's that's not not the worst uh, misspelling I've seen. Hambo's Hambits. Yeah. Woo. But yeah, we're probably looking for nineteen hundred today, and then we got to hit the analysis boards. And uh, go over a few important things like checkmate patterns and rook end games. Because those are some things I said we were going to be getting into in level 4. And unfortunately, we just didn't have them come up in any of the games that we were playing. What have I said? Every time they castle, you got to take. Now it's no longer pinned, so go ahead and take that. Knight e4. Well, oh, buddy, careful. Careful there. Queen out and rook over. Ah, and he does something that we're happy to see. Why are we happy to see that? These pawns are weak. Permanently weak as well. Okay. Just sack my queen. Oh, please no. Please no. And because it's a closed position, I'm the guy with the knights. My knights should be doing um, a, little, a little bit better. Yeah, we have the c5 outpost. We also have g5 to uh, break this pin if we need to. I like knight f8, knight g6. I think it's the most natural way to break the pin. I'll go here, and you see how close the position is getting. See how close the position is getting. This is all locked up. Bishops are not good in locked positions. Look at this guy. He's hitting a pawn chain that's very, very fortified. Very, very fortified. Okay, and this bishop, is it is it happy to be here? I don't think so. I don't think so. This bishop, do we want it here? No, we need to reroute this bishop to an actual diagonal. One where it can do something. C5 is covered by me. If he goes A4, I'll go A5. Stop everything over there. Let's try to trap that bishop. And you see the closed positions. We don't have a lot of them in this series, but when we're playing the Nimzo, you often get a closed position, and you often double these pawns. That's the idea. What's the point of g7? You often want to use your rook. Plus, it just brings my king a little bit closer to my pieces, defends all of them at once. Pretty comfortable. Those squares are for me. Those squares are for me. <laughs> hey buddy hey bud I got a beverage for us uh, for tonight figured that's a beverage? Would, that looks like it goes in your ass I figured we would celebrate uh, habits oh, it's gorgeous have, have you had this before? no it's usually there's recommended a... by many of the viewers wow usually there's more beads when I've had it so if people stayed for tonight for some marbles and uh, for some marbles and is it a tequila night as asking the lab it's a it's a classy azul night. This does look like, yeah, it does look like a lava lamp. You can put it in the butt. Wait, it's easier to get drunk if you do that, right? Yeah, you like get literally. Drunk faster. Yeah. Okay. Who's who wants it's more, to try? More effective, actually. So, more efficient. So I put that. Well, I actually, might be a good way to get some of our friends drunk. We have a few people that might. Yeah. That might be a preferred uh, a point of entry. That's true. They can they can get 
yeah, alcohol and uh, some uh, right. some pleasure. Hey, GG, BC to you. Oh, speaking of, uh, Alan, 43-month uh, resub. Alan LBQ, I hurt my neck again at the gym and I'm paralyzed upstairs. Well, Alan, I got something. So to... Alan might yes. actually need it. Yes. <laughs> okay, I need a <laughs> now we know uh, how to get hey, Alan drunk. Yeah. He so, won't yeah, be able to resist. This looks beautiful. It, I've never heard it's, of it, It's honestly. classes, well, um, you I've know, definitely never seen you know it the, the gold version of this is $1,000. Okay. I, I, I didn't Did uh, I didn't know that but they had it at the store this really fancy store so I didn't know <laughs> that tequila went up like that much but uh, just imagine we got guys drinking Cuervo oh no Cuervo's banned <laughs> I'll pay for people's shots as long as they don't drink Cuervo yeah hey Jumpy Dev Jumpy Dev's been supporting I think uh, I think he could bend over and have some tequila too hey <laughs> oh he my looks like goodness. he could handle it Donnie so, Tsunami so we're gonna be celebrating tonight. I just wanted to, to share. That's odd. I'm uh, I'm excited. Cause, Tequila's uh, the drink of the house. Yeah, yeah. It's a tequila night, guys. Confirmed. How are you feeling? Well, I went on a walk and uh, I feel a bit better. Went with Moj, you know, Mog walk. We, we got some fresh air. It's beautiful. A gentle outside. walk. A gentle walk. And, uh, yeah. At no, Alan, it's see. not a bong, but if you want, <laughs> we can go get you a bong. Yep. Oh, that's for sure. So, I, so Alan really attacked me last night, right? Do we have any, like, clips of, like, the praying mantis? Oh, they're definitely. Yeah, I so remember like, it. You could turn that into, like, a Godzilla versus a King Kong poster. <laughs> Anthony, uh, sorry, like, Alan was, like, yeah, it's like a thumbnail. <laughs> It's he's, definitely a he's thumbnail. He's red. He's got his pincers out. <laughs> he definitely had the pincers out last night. I just, I, I just don't know if people noticed that as much as you and I did. It was very funny. Um, his so too. <laughs> Extra nail is good. As I said, it's a thousand dollars. So we start off with silver, and then you graduate. I, I um, but yes. Age is supposed to be more expensive for everything. It's got a stronger uh, taste. More, more musky. Yeah, there was a period Amon and I would buy tequila every day in Spain. We would just buy, like, we drank so much going out. Like, the yep. same bottle, Milagro, I think. Yep. Really nice liquor store. <laughs> that was the fancy one in the basement. No, we're going to be, we're gonna be uh, doing shots, I think. Or sipping on it. If I'm yep. mixing, we can use like Espelon or something for mixing. Hello, Bozo. Thank you, Polaroid. Pushing the pawns, hey? I'm just pushing him. I'm just pushing him, baby. Oh, yeah. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Just oh, pushing oh, him, baby. Should I leave? Sorry. No. He has not stopped walking. Thank you, Bozo. Okay, Chuck Town Chess, thanks for the gifted sub. Times two. Polaroid with $5. Let's finish that bottle tonight, boys. Well, if we get enough contributors, you know. I think it's possible. Alan LBQ with the resub and Donnie Tsunami with 10 subs. Thank you, Donnie. Moj likes to call him Doni. <laughs> Doni sal Salami. Thanks, Donnie Tsunami. Hey, Fabrizio. You know, when the stream's not on, Fabrizio's going into YouTube videos and posting for the ads. That's very cute. He's posting that when the stream's not on. 
I'm a fan. Fabricio is a very high energy guy. His habits over. Well, we're trying to hit 1900. Hopefully this game right here, we'll see. And then we have a few things to review, some checkmate patterns, and then it will be, it will be coming to a close today. My main path, thanks for the eight months. Happy Easter, yeah, happy long weekend. Everyone has a long weekend, yeah? That's always H6. Ask that guy where he's going. Okay, we need to develop. This knight might want to go in here. Might want to go in there. But uh, there's, a few, there's a few places for our bishop. All very decent. All very decent. Um, I'm just going to put the bishop very modestly. Ah, actually, let's just put it on B7. I think that's the most natural. We played b5. Keep it simple. Bishop b7. Probably not the best square, but I think it makes the most sense after b5. Hello, Big Bach. Nice to have a, a top practitioner of the Rui Lopez in the chat. I think we need to get this guy um, off the C file because we're we're facing we're facing the rook on C1, which isn't very nice. The only thing is, if the bishop moves, I can't actually take that because it will just be a, a fair trade. It will just be a fair trade. So maybe let's start with knight here and see what white wants to do. Oh, I didn't even realize there's a tournament this weekend, uh, Bach. Good luck, buddy. I wonder if uh, Big Bach approves of moves like Knight A3, Knight on the side of the board. Did Moj leave already? No, he's going to be around for tonight, Cat Beans. So we're going to have a big stream. Going to have a big stream this evening. This is what I meant by the queen can just trade here. And it's like a perfect exchange. I got a rook and a queen. He got a rook and a queen. And let's get rid of that bishop. Yeah, I think there'll be some marbles tonight, baby red panda. We got the uh, tequila. We're celebrating Mojas last night. We're also pushing for 18,000 subs later. Let me go. Let's get a different different vibe here. There we go. There we go. Okay. I know it's the bishop pair, but guys, double isolated pawns like that. Let's see. Let's see if we can really, really put this bishop in prison. It, I'm gonna make some sacrifices here like some concessions, not chess sacrifices. But I'm going to try to keep this bishop locked in. We want to play f6, and then this bishop is going to be stuck for the rest of the game. Help. Step bishop. I'm stuck. There we go. So just basically forget about that piece. Just forget about it. It's it's not relevant. It's it's not, that basically doesn't exist. Yep. 
bishop. Let's bring the king in. Bishop not doing anything. So let's let's bring this knight back into the game. We're never touching that bishop. You got a gifted sub there. Chuck Gravity, gifting to JJ. Welcome. And thanks for the gifted sub. Chuck Gravity. Cheers. No, the bishop is definitely being shamed here. Takes and takes. It doesn't help him. It doesn't help him. This keeps him boxed in. He can never push that pawn. And he can't. Yeah, he's just. He just doesn't exist. He might think I'm about to take that. Huh, hell no. Hell no. Not a chance, buddy. Not a chance. Not doing anything. Not joining the action. Hmm. Let's go here. Excommunicado. So I want to trade for this knight. If I trade either of these pieces for the knight, my position becomes easier to win. Because then I have like one piece and he has none. Right now it's kind of like two on one, which is a little bit annoying. Um, this looks like an interesting move. Let, let's check him and just oil oil check. Oh. That's unfortunate for Buddy Pal. That's uh, real unfortunate. Just had to do an oil check there. Just had to do an oil check with Rook H1. Okay. Oh. 1900 on the dot. Almost like this is scripted. Look at that. 1900 flat. We'll take it. VBKN is really ascending. I think that is a fantastic place to stop. Uh, there's lots for you guys to go rewatch, though. Lots and lots and lots. So hopefully you guys take it upon yourself to do so. You need a ton of review. It's not just going to click immediately after watching it once. So anyhow, 1900 was pretty much what I envisioned for this series. There's four levels. Um, I think the last level is the hardest one to grasp, honestly. The first three... The first three levels are, those are my favorite. I think there's a lot of gems in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. <laughs> Sag, wrapping it up. Um, but it's still there. We'll be immortalized on YouTube for you guys to always reference back to. Hopefully it's, it's helped. I, I got a lot of messages. So I can see firsthand that it has helped a lot of people. Um, and if that's the case, then it's done its job. It's done its job. Let's get it.